a quick video on something that's recently happened with my small L-Match antenna coupler. It's given a few years of good service, but I noticed recently it seemed to be intermittent on some bands, particularly on 7 MHz when the 4.7 microhenry RF choke was switched in. It tested okay on the multimeter at all positions of the switch, which is as it should be. However, the viewer inside was not as encouraging. The 1 microhenry inductor was fine, but the 4.7 microhenry inductor, as you might be able to see from the burn marks, was not. And if you look on the lid, you can just see a mark caused by the overheating of the inductor. Now we'll measure the values of the individual inductors. We don't need to disconnect any part of the circuit because they're all in series, at least when you've got the switch in the centre position. Our 1 microhenry inductor is fine. Our 2.2 microhenry inductor is pretty close to spot on. But our 4.7 microhenry inductor is reading very low. Maybe there's some turns that are shorted. I suspect the problem was caused by me operating digital modes or slow scan TV which have a 100% duty cycle whereas for CW and SSB it would have just been okay. It's quite logical that the problem occurred in the highest value of inductor. That's because to achieve the inductance the wire needs to be very thin to accommodate all the turns in a small space. The thin wire has less current carrying capacity than thicker wire. Therefore, it can withstand less transmitter power, particularly if there's a mismatch. I can't really conclude this video without a field test of the repaired antenna coupler. So here I am on this glorious spring day. Oh. And yes, it tunes up okay without the instability that we had before. As you'd expect in the middle of the day, there's not a lot on SSB. So time to try some digital modes.